men that do not cover their heads show their submission to God, but those that cover their heads dishonor God. Stay tuned for this important message. The Prince of Darkness is bringing his full wrath in these last days, and Overcoming the Dragon Ministry stands ready to defend the gospel and overcome his lies with the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. Brother Skinner relentlessly marches forward through enemy lines, tearing down Satan's strongholds and setting the captives free. Your investment in this ministry, large or small, will be rewarded in this life and the life to come. God bless you. So let's turn to the scriptures. First Corinthians chapter 11, beginning with verse 1. 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 1. Be ye followers or imitators of me, even as also I am of Christ. Now I praise you, brethren, that you remember me in all things and keep the ordinances as I've delivered them unto you. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ, And the head of the woman is the man. And the head of Christ is God. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonoreth his head. Let me read that again to you. Every man praying or prophesying having his head covered, dishonoreth his head. Now, brothers and sisters, listen. This is an indicator to us. Not that you and I need it, but there are some out there that would need it. Every man that covers his head When he prays or prophesies, dishonoreth his head. You know anybody that does that? How about the Pope? How about the priests? How about the the, the, uh, Muslims, the imams and the high religious uh, order of, of Islam, and the higher you go, it seems. But then what about Judaism? What about the rabbis? Isn't it interesting how that all these wear a head covering? Doesn't that tell you something? The Catholic Church. Judaism, Islam, they all cover their heads. And according to the scripture, they dishonor their head. That ought to be a clear indication to you right there that they are not in submission to God. So, there's just another Uh, piece of evidence, just another uh, fact, or even a sign, if you will, uh, that is proving that these that cover their heads are not true. Ministers of God. And there's others. There's all kinds of them out there, different religions that cover their heads. That's just a few. That's the that's the three major religions of the earth right there, all covering their heads. Now, the blood washed, redeemed in Christ Jesus, 
Uh, I'm not even putting that in the equation. I'm just talking about the world religions. Uh, I mean, Catholics call themselves Christians. So when the world talks about the three main religions and they say Christianity, they're talking about the Catholic Church. Make no mistake about that. But you know that we that are the redeemed in Christ Jesus through the precious blood of Jesus Christ, the incorruptible seed, uh, we're not in the same category as the Catholic Church. God forbid. That's paganism, people. The word Catholic means universal. So when you see the Pope with his head covered, you see rabbis covered with their heads covered, and then you see Islam covering their heads, there it is. They're dishonoring their head. Um, and it's, it's uh, just right there, straight in your face. But people don't take the time to read their Bibles, or they don't believe the Scripture. Have you ever seen the Pope praying for people while he's got his head covered? Now, is it, is it interesting to you, because it is to me, how that all three of these Judaism, Islam, and the Catholic Church, they all wear the same kind of head covering. Did you ever notice that? It's the same little hat they all wear. Little beanie or whatever they call it. Forgot what they call that little thing they put on their head. But what they're doing when they wear that is they're dishonoring God, folks. I didn't say it. Paul said it. So if you have a problem with that, you need to take it up with Paul. But there it is, folks, right there. I'm not going to make it a long message. Uh, and then also there's the other side of that as well, which is women. We'll do a message on that as well, talking about how women dishonor their head. That message will be coming as well. And there are a lot of women out there that fit the category in these mega churches. And I will prove to you that they fall into this category. I will prove to you by the scripture that the Joyce Meyer and uh, Paula White both fall into the category of dishonoring their head. So stay tuned for that message as well. Also, I want to mention to you out there that may uh, want to support our ministry, uh, there is a link on our YouTube channel, uh, patron link, where you can uh, sign up for a monthly donation where you can uh, help us um, on a monthly basis to meet our goal, our monthly uh, goal so that we can cover the cost uh, of this ministry and the needs of this ministry. So, also, there's a message I'm going to be sharing this afternoon. Sometime, I'm going to be sharing a message about um, about how justice is not blind. You want to stay tuned for that message as well. That's going to be a powerful message. It's got, I got a lot of uh, a lot of research and different things that I've been looking at, and I'm going to show you how uh, our judicial system in the United States and all the judicial systems around the world are all under the same uh, myth. So you don't, you want to stay tuned for that. Uh, so I guess that's it for, for this message. Please remember us in prayer, this ministry. We need your prayers. How many know that you put a tar you have a target on you when you when you stand for Jesus Christ, amen? When you're preaching the truth, you have a target on you. So please remember us in your prayers. And uh, may the Lord be with you 
And may his peace be with you throughout the day. God bless you.